What's good, you two? That one, I ain't you. back again once again. And today, we're back for episode number 52 of our Pokemon Glaze Nuzlocke. And what could possibly be the final episode of Pokemon Glazed? I know it's a scary thing to say because we've been here for so long, but it's it. It's over. We're finally done. But either way, in the last episode, you guys, we took on Champion Blake once more for a rematch. We took on Champion Soul as well, and his team was very terrifying indeed. And then last but not least, we made our way here to the top of Mount Stratus, where all the storyline stuff happened in the Tuna region, an attempt to capture Mew, and Mew just wouldn't cooperate with us. But in today's episode, you guys, we're going to hopefully get Mew to join us, and then there's one other thing left for us to do. And again, I've been asking you guys not to spoil it if you know what it is, and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys either. I want you to experience it with me. I want you to experience it with me. So if you guys are hyped for the final episode of Pokemon Glaze, if you've enjoyed Glaze so far, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, let's get a quick team recap for the last time. We have Morgiana, our flow tools of a 95, holding the Mystic Water, Power Up, Waterfall, and Surf. We went ahead and just broke down and gave Morgiana Surf because why not? I hope it doesn't come to bite us in the ass because we don't break, break on Morgiana, but we'll see. She's also got Ice Punch and Crunch as well. Then we have Dudley Armaldo, level 95, holding the King's Rock to power up. Well, King's Rock doesn't power up shit. What the hell? King's Rock. He's got Slash, Fury Cutter, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. Then we have Pre-K, our Victini, the newest member to our team, level 95, holding the Charcoal to power up that Flamethrower. Got it right that time. He's also- Oh shit, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. God damn it. He's also got Psychic Thunderbolt and Calm Mind. Then we have Sadie, our Gramble, who is truly an MVP of the team. Level 95, holding the Quick Claw with Earthquake, Play Rough, Brick Break, and Crunch. Then we have another MVP on the team, JR Electivire, who's level 97. Ah! Oh! Holding the Black Belt to power up its Brick Break. He's also got Thunder Punch, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. Then, last but not least, we have Pearl, our Dragonite, who's become the new red button on the team, who's level 96. Holding the Dragon Fang to power up its Outrage, it's also got Earthquake, Spore, and Fly. And because I am super obsessed and compulsive like that, Jay's gotta be beneath Pearl. You guys notice how the entire party is like organized by level, and then if they're the same level, it's organized by HP? Like, that's how obsessed and compulsive I am. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I didn't even realize that until just now. That's how obsessive compulsive I am. But I think for right now, we're going to go ahead and rock out with Pre-K up front. Because Pre-K is a new member to our team. We only, we only used it for one episode. So this time, let's just rock out with Pre-K and hope for the best. But either way, last time we made it here and Mew is chilling here. Mew! Mew! I can't do it anymore. God damn it. Sai, look what I did. I completely wrecked these people's labs. Such destruction. I remember you. 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 You were there when I did this. Do you think I'm a monster? I sincerely thank you for your help. I never properly did that. You're a good person, you know that? I owe you a life debt. I hope one day I can make it up to you. So we didn't get the chance to battle Mew. So like, what the hell are we supposed to do? We showed it Mewtwo, all this stuff, and you guys let me know in the comment section that you actually only need to have an empty slot in your party. And you go back up here and Mew just hops in a Pokeball. <laughs> I would have never thought that that's what I needed to do. Never, ever, ever. Well... Mew inside one of your Pokeballs. Obtained a Mew. That simple! There was all this build up because it was the mascot of Glaze and everything. All I, I, all I had to do was just jump in the Pokeball. I thought we had to battle or something. Would you like to give a nickname to your Mew? What do you nickname Mew? What do you nickname a Mew? I don't know. I don't know what to nickname Mew. It's, it's like Mewtwo, like you don't nickname it. So let's see what Mew is. It's Naughty, 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 which actually I don't think is too terribly bad. Doesn't Naughty up special attack or something like that? But uh, it's pretty decent. Look at that attack. Well, I don't know. Naughty might up attack since his attack's higher than special attack. I don't know. Mega Punch, Metronome, Psychic, and Ancient Power. Alrighty then. That's actually not a terrible Mew because the Mewtwo we had, Frieza, was a special attacker and Mew was physical attacker. One of these days, we're going to do that Legend Lock that we spoke about on Twitch and it's going to be powerful. Literally, because there's going to be legends in our party. But either way, Mew is here, finally, and it's going to chill in the PC right here. Because we already have our team rocked out, ready to go. So, we have one thing left to do here in the world of Pokemon Glazed. And uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of traveling to get there. And hopefully, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we please? Can't use that here. God damn it. Alright, let me spray the Super Repel right now. Because I'm not handling this biggity ass bullshit. Not going through here with all this stuff. I think we came from the left. Is, is it easier if we just go to the right down here? 
Can we go? To, to, is it? Is it? Oh, there's a. There's rock. Oh, we don't have rock climb. Fuck. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're out here on the top. Can we fly from here? Hey, we can fly from here. Fun fact: I'm pretty sure up here on the top of Mount Stratus is actually where, um. You get you encounter Arceus. I think in the game you have to catch all the other legends that are in the game, and then Arceus will appear here. I think, but like I said, we're not worried about catching legends or anything, anything like that. So let's go ahead and oh, we can only go so fucking far. Let's just go to Southerly City. I was gonna say we could fight a Reef and Isle or Southerly City, one or the other. Doesn't make that much of a difference, but we just have to get to Johto. So fly me to the moon. Fly me to Johto, more like it. And let's go ahead and go up her. And we need you to take us to the Johto League. And then we're going to need... We're going to need... We're going to need a certain HM Slave on our team. I do believe we're going to need Jerry's assistance here. Let's go ahead and swap out... Who are we going to swap out for Jerry? Jerry! I'm going to swap out Dudley. I feel like Dudley's like the go-to swap out. I don't know why. That's not that smart either because he's got battle armor. He can't be critted, but... Either way, so we're gonna go back inside here into the Johto League, into the Johto League, into the, uh, whatchamacallit over here. Fucking, fucking, fucking Victory Road. If you guys remember when we came through Victory Road the first time, ooh, look at the path, it's all slippery. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Wrong way! If you guys remember the first time we came here through to the Johto League, uh, uh, we made it all the way over here, and we started surfing and diving and whatnot. Wait, do we have a dive? We don't have a dive, Pokemon! God damn it! <sighs> wait, wait, wait. All the hype has been killed and ruined for no reason. Time out. You didn't see any of this happen. Time out, time out, time out, time <laughs> All the hype just got killed for no goddamn reason. Why do you make it so we have to dive? I wish Pokemon would just make it so that, you know, if you had a water type on your team, it could just dive already. I mean, you can go underwater and encounter wild Pokemon underwater. It only makes sense that they just naturally know how to dive and naturally know how to surf and natural. Well, I don't know, waterfall might be able to teach Pokemon that because that's not net. Well, for like some species of fish, like salmon or trout or whatever it is, they swim upstream and whatnot. But still, not all like water type Pokemon will know how to climb water. So I can understand waterfall being that way, but come on now. All right, Zadie's so gonna have to sit this one out. So we need a dive Pokemon on our team. All right, so let's head back in here. Effects still linger. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, so let's go ahead and head up here this time. Wait, let's go down here. Ugh, 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 ugh. There we go. So now we can surf. Oh god damn it! Oh no! Hell no! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! I don't know how this keeps happening. Uh, last time my uh my Skype keeps going off of Do Not Disturb to regular, and it, it pisses me off because all of a sudden I'm in the middle of recording. And go what? And I'm just like what the fuck. Okay, so who's got die? You don't have die. Did I get the wrong tentacruel? <laughs> I can swear we had a tentacruel that had die on it. I guess I got the wrong tentacruel. I'll teach this one dive as well. I don't know. So let's just teach you dive. There we go. We can dive under the water. Look at that. Nice and dive. Nice and dive. And in this gen, you can't just push the button. You gotta go all the way through here and open it back up. Alright, so if you guys remembered, we came through Victory Road first time and we didn't have any rock climb Pokemon so we couldn't get down through here. But now we're gonna get down through here, there's a blank CD. And this is just a way to get back to the front real super quick and easy. So we got another blank CD which would have been useful. But then all of a sudden we come through here and it's like a whole new world! God damn! Oh look at this, look at this motherfucker right here. Catch this work, Magmortar. Embor? Oh, such part fighting. Look at Pre-K putting in the finest. Yo, look at this place, though. This is sick as fuck. All this fucking, like, lava and shit. It reminds me of, what is it, Reverse Mountain? Or Reversal Mountain from, uh, uh, the Unifer region? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy down here. And it's such, it's such, like, night and day difference, too. Like, watch this, watch this. Oh, just a regular cave. Welcome to hell. Like, holy shit. God damn. Okay. No, oh, well, I guess it's fine. I don't care. Up the hill we go, and then outside to the top of Victory Road we make it to. <gasps> and who's that? Who could that be? Oh shit! Wild Earth Ring. I'm sorry, pockets. Not today. Who could this be? Oh hey, my name is Lance, and I know you're 
You're the champion of Johto! In fact, you're just the person I was looking for! I have a friend named Red, who was training in Mount Silver when it erupted. I'm worried about him. Anyway, would you like to come with me? Sure. Thanks a lot. I have an idea. Meet me at the Goldenrod train station. Pidgeot. Alright, so we have to make our way to Goldenrod. And look, you can't fly in this region. And the button to go to Goldenrod is right there. The teleport button is right there. Ah, there's wild muck up here. I wish, I kind of sort of wish that we would have come up here the first time. I don't know if Lance would have been there or not, but I kind of wish we could have just to get an encounter. Look, he did duck down here. <laughs> too soon, too soon, too soon. But we can just uh, skedaddle through here and not have to use dive or anything else like that. And get the fuck up out this bitch. I said, get the fuck up out this bitch. Alright, so we should be good to go to Goldenrod City now. And I want to drop these HM slaves off because we don't need them. We didn't even, well, we need to rock climb on the Heracross. I was going to say, we didn't even need to use strength or anything like that, but we didn't use him for strength. We used him for rock climb. Okay, so Cruella, you can go and chill over here. Dudley, I'm gonna need your strong ass back in the motherfucking party, nigga. Jerry, you're gonna have to sit right there. Okay, so he asked us to go to the Goldenrod train station, which actually, we haven't done anything with this entire game. So I'm actually really interested in what the hell are we gonna do in here. Wait, that's Luckboy. Luckboy's watching us over there. Listen, we need to get to Mount Silver as fast as possible, okay? Well, well I, I don't rightly know for sure whether the tracks have even held up to Mount Silver, but I think I have something for you. Oh, glad you can make it here, Nappy. The conductor says he has something that can help us find Red. Uh, uh, all right, miss. Let's come this way. Here she comes now. This is the hop in a minecart. Like, what is this? Is this Crash Bandicoot or some shit? What the hell? Well, whatever works. Let's get to Mount Silver as fast as we can, Nappy. For all we know, Red could be seriously hurt. I mean, Mount Silver erupted, and we've always had the question of, like, what the hell is gonna happen? Like, what happened to Red since he was up there? We can't go any further, but I think we're inside of Mount Silver, so let's go and try to find Red. I nicknamed your mom Mount Silver. Now I'm all up inside her. Oh! <gasps> Holy sh- I didn't even think! First encounter, Mount Silver is a goddamn guard chomp! Uh, hello, excuse me- Oh, this is gonna be risky. Crunch. Uh, excuse me. First encounter inside Mount Silver is a fucking guard chomp. Excuse me. Mount Silver got turned the fuck up while, <laughs> while we were away. Goddamn. I mean, I might just master ball this bitch. Should I flamethrower it? I feel like I'm gonna kill it if I flamethrower it, even if though it resists. We just caught a Garchomp at full health, level 54. God damn, the mock Pokemon. It is said that when run run, but da, 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 da. it is said that when one runs at high speed, its wings create blades of wind that can fell nearby trees. We just caught a fucking Garchomp. We have a Dragonite, we got a Haxorus in the PC, and now a Garchomp. What? <sighs> what was her name? What was her name? Oh, what was her name? I know the perfect nickname for this. What was her name? Let me look it up, let me look it up, let me look it up. See, my uh, all of my male guard chomps I nicknamed Ryuk. Let me know if you get that reference. I'm sure some of you guys do. But let me see. Okay, so that is her name. So since Ryuk is the male name that I give to guard chomps, which I mean I guess it fits better. I'm just gonna nickname this one Rem. Which is another reference to Death Note, and a lot of people are, are up in arms whether Rem is male or female. To me, Rem is very feminine, so I'm just gonna assume that's female. Oh, Rem's not in our box, it's not in our PC. How do I get that item? Well, it's not in our box, it's not in our party, it's in the PC. God damn. Stop it, Sand Slash. I'm actually happy we got a Garchomp and not a Sand. Well, we could have gotten two chances to get a Garchomp because Sand Slash should be considered. Fuck! We need Jerry! God damn it! Why? Why can't you just make these steps? Shit! <sighs> Hop in the minecart and go back to Goldenrod. This luck boy, luck boy, creator of this game. No, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing from you. I don't know why you can't just put steps over there. God! <sighs> Make me come all the way back here to get a goddamn rock climb Pokemon. <laughs> I guess we can check out Ram though while we're here. It's Hasty Nature, which I think either up speed or ups defense. I mean, up speed or ups attack, one of the two. 
Slash, Dragon Claw, Dig, and Crunch. If he would have gone for Dragon Claw against Pearl, that would have been terrifying. But yo, we got a fucking Hatsuris and a Garchomp! Oh, and Megatron! That's crazy. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so who are we going to get rid of? I think we're going to... Sadie can go ahead and chill in the box for just a little while. Even if it's just for a little while. I don't know about you! Let me stop. Let me stop. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So back to Mount Silver we go. All because we need Rock Climb. Fucking hell. I hate Rock Climb so much. I hate Rock Climb. That's another thing. Like, if I. Like, wild Pokemon are found in caves and shit. Are they all found on, like, the ground floor of the caves because they can't climb rocks to get to the next level or some shit like that? I don't understand. Why is it? Why? Wait, just so we get the item. Now we get a magnet! What? This late in the game, now we finally get a magnet to give to Jay. <laughs> well, now I can give the black belt to Sadie when we get her back in the party because she's got Brick Break and I, I can give the Quick Claw back to a Dudley. Oh my god! Now we get the magnet! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, there's wild Larvitar's here. Ooh. Yo, Mount. Uh, Mount Silver is straight savage. My lord. Wild Dawn fans, too? Straight savagery. My lord. Gotta rock climb everywhere. I mean, I guess it makes sense since it's like a volcano erupted and, you know, you wouldn't necessarily have a staircase or anything like that. And there's a random ass Golduck here, too. Alright, we're on standing on cracked ground with lava coming up and shit, and then quack Golduck. <laughs> Alrighty then, alrighty then. And where are we going? There's no- well, I was gonna say there's no trainers. Look at the little gap light. I was gonna say there's no trainers or anything, but I guess since it blew up, nothing would be here. I guess we're trying to hunt down Lance. Excuse me, Lance. Knock, knock. Where are you, buddy? I'm kind of scared and lonely. Hello? Oh, there's Lance. Oh, there's Red! Red, you are safe. Holy shit, Red speaks! Red never talks! What voice do you give Red? What voice am I supposed to give Red? <laughs> How do you voice Red? I don't know what I'm supposed to do! I, there's no voice I can do that just like that like gives credit to red. What am I supposed? You should have known that Lance. It takes more than a volcano to kill me Come Oh look there's Heatran. That's a Heatran. I'm sure it's the cause of the eruption Like I want to give him like Ash's voice, but like red is not Ash. Ash is not red. Ash could never dream to be red So then it's like what voice do you give him? Like, I want to give him a serious voice, and I guess Lance and Red would sound alike because they're both serious-ass trainers? I don't fucking know. Who's there? I can see you, humans! Don't be throwing fire at us. Red just said, ah, oh, ah. That's strong fire, Nappy. You need to stop Heatran before it causes another eruption, okay? And we're just in battle with Heatran! Holy shit! So Heatran is the one that caused Mount Silver to erupt. That's that's sick. I like that. That's great storyline writing. I like that a lot. All right, Pre-K. Pre-K's in this bitch. I said Pre-K's in this bitch. Pre-K, a Pre-K, a Pre-K, Pre-K's in this bitch. Eruption, eat it up. Eruption, eat it up. Eruption, 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 eat it up. Oh, did I make show earthquake? Hey, did I make show earthquake? Ooh, did I make show earthquake? Did I make show earthquake? Ooh, did I make show earthquake? Did I make show earthquake? Ooh. Did I mean show Earthquake? Did I mean show Earthquake? Can you just stay asleep, please? Not right, stay asleep. Can you just stay in the ball? Hey, that would be greatly appreciated. I don't have to waste the Master Ball on you. Well, I mean, it would be a waste of money if I don't use Master Ball, though. I spent a lot of money on those goddamn Master Balls. But, like, he can't touch my Pokemon. Like, holy shit. For real. Eruption? Eating it up. <laughs> He's erupting. Mount Silver just blows up each time. Can you stay asleep? Like, that would be really appreciated. Not only could you stay asleep, but could you stay in the Ultra Ball, too? Yo, like, that would be, like, G-shit. That would be amazing. I'm going to actually take this time to heal. 
Thank you very much. And then, uh, yo, G shit. Stop! Oh, you son of an asshole! Bitch! You just kind of start having me curse all incessantly and shit, and then people are gonna kick me out of kitchens and. That's gonna be sad! Leave me alone! Heatran, just stay in the ball! This will be like 30 Ultra Balls I've used on Heatran. This is like catching Heatran and Alpha Sapphire all over again. Are we almost out of spores? That's not good. That's not good. It's not good. Heatran! Or can we not catch Heatran? Or are you just meant to like calm him down? You think maybe that's it? I feel like even if I use like fly on him, that'll kill him. Oh my god, can you please stop waking up the very next turn? Yo, I'm gonna throw Master Ball as ass. You wanna stay in the ball? This will tell me if we're able to catch him or not. Yes, we can. It's not just storyline. <laughs> I was gonna say, because if it's storyline, we'll be here forever trying to throw uh uh, Ultra Balls or Luxury Balls at him, but hey, he translated in the Master Ball. Again, again, I, I was sitting there thinking, like, I would want to catch him in a regular Pokeball, not a Master Ball, because, like, that's just more fun. Like, it's more challenging than to just, oh, ch chuck a Master Ball, boom, there it is. But, whoop, there it is, say louder. But at the same time, <laughs> where did that come from? But at the same time, it's like, if it's a storyline event, I'll just be sitting here forever wasting spores. Wasting full restores, wasting ultra balls. Thought I was about to start rapping, weren't you? Heatran, the lava dome Pokemon. He's a thousand pounds of lava and steel. God. Its body is made of rugged steel, however, it is partially melted in spots because of its own heat. I feel like Heatran would be like I feel like Heatran would be like a uh, uh, like a fire or a lava version of Gujar. Like it would just it, it would just constantly look like its body's falling apart. But because it's the lava dome, like it's constantly replenishing the lava that it, it drips all over the ground and shit. That's one Pokemon I would not want in my house. You know, if people always say, I always say like, Hey, yo, what's one Pokemon that you'd love to have IRL? And I'd say something like Dano, because Dano's like a little dog, you know? And everyone's like, oh, I would love to have a Gyarados IRL. I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do with a Gyarados? Where are you going to put a Gyarados? You got a fucking aquarium? You got a fucking SeaWorld tank in your backyard to fit this 22 foot long sea serpent in? No, nigga, what the hell? Alright, what are you going to nickname Heatran? You see, I traditionally, see again, it's just like the Garchomp all over again. I nicknamed my Heatrans Hephaestus. And it's a male Heatran. Heatran's one of the only legendaries that has male and female genders to him. Um, but it's female, so what do I nickname? The male ones I nickname are Hephaestus. What do I nickname the female ones? I don't know what I want to nickname them. I don't know what I want to nickname it. I'm going to name it... No, you know what? I was going to name it Juliet. I'm going to nickname it... I'm going to nickname it Hestia. Because Hephaestus is the god of, like, forges and shit. And, like, uh, blacksmiths. But Hestia is the goddess of the hearth and home. And she keeps the fire lit in Mount Olympus. So, it's kind of sort of like fire like the hearth you know what I mean so I, I don't know I'm, I'm stretching I know but you know what? I'm gonna rock out with it thanks I'm gonna stick around here for now maybe we can battle soon I knew it was a good plan to bring you along nappy ha huh. no it's fine just a little burn you better head back to gold rod and take care of yourself red ah huh. hey I thought we were gonna get to battle thanks for coming with me ah huh. I should have known red would be fine i talked to the conductor, and he'll let you visit Mount Silver whenever you want, at least until the train starts running. I better head home. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Oh, take care, Nappy. I wonder, can we battle Lance? I feel like it would be great if we could battle Lance. I feel like it would be great if we could battle Lance. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So he's gonna head home, wherever the fuck his home is at. I don't know where that might be. But, we have one thing left to do in the game. We did the event, we went and saw him and everything. Now the only other thing left to do is to go and battle Red. And I've heard from a few different sources that Red is scary as shit in this game. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on the Minecraft and head back to Mount Silver now. And we're gonna pop our super repels. So we ain't trying to run into no wild ass guard chomps again. And it sucks because I have to have Jerry on the team. So that means that Sadie's not even gonna get to be in this battle. But I mean, if, it, if he has his regular team, then I don't really think Sadie's going to serve much use. I mean, Sadie can hit hard as shit. That's, that's the thing. 
Because what's his regular team? He's got Snorlax, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Pikachu. I think it's Espeon or Lapras is the last one, depending upon the gen. So I don't know what he's going to have right now. It just sucks that I have to have all... Well, I mean, you have to have this in all the other games as well. well actually, I don't think you have to have that in Gen 2, because Rock Climb's not there. But in Gen 4, I'm pretty sure you need to have Rock Climb to reach red. So, I don't know. It's whatever. It's so whatever. We'll just make it work. We'll make it work. Unfortunately, Sadie won't be here for the final battle, which makes me sad. But I'm going to save the game, because only you can prevent law to save data. And we're going to make sure this happens the right way. All right, Red, you bitch. Are you guys ready? A battle. Okay. Oh, we're battling Red! Oh, no! I don't care what anybody says, Red just has this mystique about him that's just terrifying. Pikachu, he's gonna leave with his Pikachu. Who are we leading with? Oh, pre-K. Hmm. Let me see what pre-K... His defense is decent enough, I just don't want to catch a Volt Tackle. I'm gonna start Calm Minding. Thunderbolt, Calm Mind again. Thunderbolt, Calm Mind one more again. Oh, no, wait, 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 that might be bad! Oh, we ate it up, we ate it up, okay. I mean, then again, it's a fucking Pikachu. What was I expecting? What was I expecting? It's just a Pikachu. I don't know how many Calm Minds we have up now. <laughs> this is gonna be a massacre. I'm sorry, Red. <laughs> I'm sorry, Red. Oh, shit, that was a crit. He's gonna kill himself with Volt Tackles. <laughs> Stop killing yourself! How high can... Oh, it won't go any higher. Alright, so we're maxed out with uh, Calm Minds now. We've maxed out our call mines. So, um... It's none of my business. <laughs> Pre-K is put in the finest! La oh, she's got Lapras. I think with maxed out call mine, as long as we outspeed, we should be good for anything on his team now. Which I'm guessing, since he had a level 100 Pikachu, Cause I was gonna say, it could be just his Pikachu is ace is level 100, but since the Lapras is level 100 as well, I'm assuming his entire team is level 100. Yo. <laughs> Are we about to body red because he led with the Pikachu? Oh, Snorlax. Snorlax actually scares me. I don't know, then again, we have Max Calm Mind, Max Special Attack, so... Look at Snorlax's fat ass. Yo, why does it look like... like, normally, like... <laughs> You think Snorlax has a huge stomach, right? But why does it look like all of his fat is he's carrying on his back right now? Like his feet are off the ground and everything, like... What the hell? I'm gonna go for a Psychic, fuck it. Snorlax, I think his highest stat is his special defense. So let's see if he's bulky enough to eat it. OH HE ATE IT! <gasps> HOLY SHIT HE'S GOT CRUNCH! Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me! Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me! He ate that psychic like it wasn't funny! Yo, if he would've crit with that crunch, Pre-K would be gone! Pre-K would be out of here! Oh my god! Blastoise, I could Thunderbolt the Blastoise, but you know what? I don't want this to be an easy super duper sweep like that. We're, we're still technically under leveled, going up against Red, and Pre-K put in the work. Took out three of his Pokemon, half his team. Alright, newly magnet boosted Thunder Punch! Let's go, Jay! Hit that bitch as hard as you can. Hit him with an uppercut thunder punch. Holy shit, he lived it! You missed that blizzard, though. How did he... Are you focus punching me? Seriously, when you have like 20 HP left, you're focus punching me. Nigga, please. Blastoise. Yo, that Blastoise ate that up. That just goes to show how bulky starters actually are. Because that was a stab, thunder punch, magnet boosted from the fucking Electivire. Like, what do I need to go get? A Zekrom? Banded Zekrom to go and destroy you? We have Venusaur up next. So, holy on the for a Venusaur. Holy on the for a Venusaur. I think, uh, Pre-K would be who I want to send out because we could Psychic or Flamethrower it. But I think Pre-K's putting enough work. We're gonna try Pearl here. Pearl. This isn't even a red button. This isn't even a red button to hit for this to come out. Look, look at Venusaur. What was that little Jake Venusaur just did when it came out? I'm just gonna go straight up for a fly. Let's see what we can do. Mmm. I feel like Sludge Bomb's gonna hurt. Bop! I feel like a Sludge Bomb from a Venusaur would hurt the most, because, like, 
Imagine the size of the slab. Oh god! Oh god, Venusaur! Where what happened to the bulk? Imagine the size of like the sludge bomb Venusaur would muster out from his big ass stomach just I'm just all over you like Alright, so all he has left is his Charizard now. You know what, Morgiana? It's your time to sh No, I should have gone out to Dudley. I should have rock sided the Charizard with Dudley. Ah. It's alright though. Morgiana, you got this. You got this, Morgiana. It's your time to shine. It's your time to come through against this Charizard. Red's Charizard. Mmm. Air cutter. I guess air slash isn't a thing in this game. Holy shit. Holy shit! Oh, you cheeky bitch. He'll say the Charizard, but not the Blastoise. That's not right! That's not right! That's not right at all. That's not right at all. Catch this waterfall. You know, I might just swap to Dudley, just so Dudley can get a hit in. Dudley, you know, Dudley, you use your rock slide. You know what? No, I'm gonna surf. Bop! And that wall of water takes him down. Like, I just picture this Charizard, like, flying above us, like, trying to hit us with Air Cutter, and Morgina just musters everything she's got, and this huge wall of water just slams into Charizard and slams him to the ground. I mean, that would be sick as fuck. Ugh, I have an active imagination, I'm sorry. We beat Trainer Red! And now he ain't got shit to say. Now he ain't got shit to say. God damn. Here, I want you to have this. We got the ruby. Let's battle again sometime. And he just disappears. I don't know if he ever respawns or ever comes back here. I guess we could try and see... Oh, propels effects wore off. Oh shit, there's a little ass Larvitar up here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he came back or not. Ooh, Mischievous. Excuse me. That's throwback to Gen 2. Isn't that where you find Mischievous? Is on, um. Uh, isn't on the, the route leading to Mount Silver in Gen 2 or something like that? In Gen, yeah, in Gen 2, getting to red or something like that. Or maybe it is Mount Silver itself you can find Mischievous. So that's throwback as fuck right there. But we beat Red. Red honestly didn't end up being as hard as I thought he was gonna be. Yo, can we go through here? I wanna go through there. He honestly didn't end up being as hard as I thought he was going to be, probably because Pre-K was able to set up and take out half his team the way it was. And I'm actually proud to say we might have teams of 90s on our on our, on our team, our, our level 90s on our team, but at the same time, we were technically under-leveled for that battle. And I'm proud because we came through, we pulled through, our team pulled through and got the W. So, that Ruby that Red gave us, that Ruby that Red gave us is, I think... Something for Legends, I think it's to access like Groudon and shit, because I think at this point in the game, the only thing that's left for us to really do is to, like go around and catch Legends, and you guys know I have no interest in that. We went and caught Mew because it was the mascot of the game. Let's check out Hestia real quick. Gentle Nature. Look at those. Oh, look at those stats are nasty. Eruption, Fire Spin, Earthquake, and Heat Wave. No, you don't need Earthquake. Not when your special attack is so much higher. Goddamn. But! With that, you guys, we've officially done everything that we technically need to do in Pokemon Glazed. And, uh, I was gonna, god damn it, I was gonna go sit up there, but I wanna pay homage real quickly to our fallen comrades. To our fallen comrades. We have a box of Pokemon on deck ready to go for us, but we also had a box that tried their hardest. They put in the finest of work throughout this entire Nuzlocke, throughout this entire Let's Play. These were the ones from the very beginning with Sahara and Blue Note. You guys remember when we first got Blue Note and everyone lost their minds because they're, oh, I'm so sick and tired of people using Lucario and Let's Plays and we never got the chance to even use Lucario because Blue Note unfortunately got bopped. And then Sleepy, Sleepy was a monster. Sleepy was so good. Sleepy was so, so good. Good, look at that move set. And then I remember Alex Luis when we went to the sixth gym. Yo, I want you guys to understand. We lost both uh, PK Sparks and Alex Luis in the sixth gym of the Tuna region. And I'm pretty sure we lost Grumps. Yo, Grumps is so throwback. Grumps, Sneaky, and Jafar. All in, um, no, we lost Jafar in, in Johto, but Grumps and Sneaky, I'm pretty sure we lost in the Elite Four of Tuna. So just in the Tuna region, up until the sixth gym, we only lost three Pokemon. And then we entered Johto, and it started with Morty, and then the Quick Claw didn't pop, and then there was a fucking Meteor Mash Fable, 
and then I, I, the 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 superpower or sky attack haunch girl, and then Jasmine and her crazy dumbass. And then we went into the uh, the the uh, the psychic gym and got critted with these two against Alakazam. And then we got Ice Beam that was crit that took out Juvia. And then the Wild Effect toppled Soul. And then the Elite Four Crystal toppled General Soul and Jessica. And Britannia, how did Britannia go down? I don't remember Britannia. Sheila, I'm pretty sure uh, was it Explosion or something like that took out Sheila. Oh no, it was um against the Golem in the cave. I'm pretty sure. And then Frieza against the the Mirror Coat. Glaceon, and then JJ in the final gym, and then Tidduck in the Elite Four! Ugh. It's been a wild ride. It really, really has. It's been a wild fucking ride. That's all I can say. It's been a wild ride. We've never lost almost an entire box of Pokemon in a Nuzlocke before, but you know what? Even through all of that, even through all of our losses, we still could not be stopped. That's how strong and how powerful the Nappy Nation is. So I'm going to go ahead and end off our Glaze Nuzlocke sitting right here next to the creator, Mr. Luckboy. It's so weird it's coming to the end of a Let's Play. <laughs> Especially one that we've been doing for so, so long. You guys asked for a death montage because we had so many deaths. So tomorrow, in technically, I guess, the final episode of Pokemon Glaze, we will have a death montage going up. But this will be the final episode of Glaze that we're actually playing. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys for the support on this Let's Play. Most of the time, third gen LPs don't do all too well on uh, YouTube for entertainment purposes because it's considered too old graphics, people aren't interested in them, but you guys came through and made Glaze one of the best Let's Plays we've done on the channel so far. So I want to thank you guys again. I say this all the time, I sound like a broken record, but I honestly mean it from the bottom of my heart. The support you guys showed on Glazed is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so, so much. We should have a death montage up for you, for you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure when our next project is ready to start. I can tell you right now, it is not Soul Link. Soul Link is not ready to go yet, you guys. Um, but I would say keep an eye out on the channel sometime next week for either an update or if we decide not to do an update video, we might just dive headfirst into the next project. Uh, if you'd like to have additional updates, make sure you go and follow us on Twitter. That's where things go out instantly. Link to that is in the description below. But with that, it's time for us to say goodbye to Glazed. If you guys enjoyed the entirety of the project, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, and let's end Glaze with a bang. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You don't mean to Nappy Nation, I'm out!